Hi, I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And I'm Emma from The Journey. And today we're going to talk about managing your customer loyalty program. And these programs can be the lifeblood of repeat customers. And they essentially reward customers for returning often to your business. And back in the day, it was all about punch cards, right? I know I had one for my favorite sandwich shop. But now these loyalty programs have become more sophisticated and essential for your business. And if you currently don't offer a loyalty program, this might be the opportunity to start one and communicate those customer rewards out in your marketing efforts. It's all about building loyalty and customer retention. Did you know that a 5% increase in customer retention could increase your profitability by 25 to 95%? That's a huge return. And it costs five times more to win a new customer than retain an existing one. Yeah, so here are some ideas for retaining those customers and keeping them happy. Number one, giveaways. People love free stuff. So think about something your customers would love to have. Could be a free slice of pizza. I know I would love that. All the pizza. Or a piece of merch like with your logo on it. And you could send it to influencers on social media to create buzz around the giveaway. And this is a great way to bring customers to you and your services. Another idea is to offer your customers VIP level rewards. These are often special perks for spending levels for customers. An example here is Mac Cosmetics, which has a Mac Lovers program. And as you can see, they give customers more perks for higher spending levels each year. This gives customers an extra incentive to be loyal to their brand. So another loyalty program idea is offering points for purchase. And this allows your customers to gain points related to every purchase in exchange for free goods or services once you've gained enough points. And this is the closest program to that old sandwich club card I was talking about or a coffee punch card. 10 punches and you get a free cup of coffee. I love that. You buy enough of something and you get something free. That's all it is. Now, Starbucks has been doing this for a long time with their Starbucks rewards. And as you can see, they have a lot of ways to keep their customers engaged with their brand. They have an app, birthday rewards, games. They're doing it right. But the rewards don't last forever. And there's a six-month window on the point expiration. So again, creating an incentive for customers to purchase often before their points expire. So that brings up a good question for businesses that have loyalty programs. What do you do when customers can't come into your store during a crisis like we're seeing with COVID-19? Yeah, and that's exactly what Starbucks did. They communicated out to their rewards members that they would be extending the expiration limits to cover reward benefits while their stores were closed. So consider extending those benefits to your customers. So when they return, you'll have lots of happy customers ready to spend money and earn more rewards. And if you're a business that is open during this time, but maybe in a limited capacity, like a restaurant, you might wanna consider offering a discount on rewards. So if a free coffee normally costs a customer 100 points to redeem, maybe you bump it down to 50 for the next 30 days or offer double points this month, which is essentially the same thing. Try both campaigns and experiment to see which one gets more traction. While businesses might be slow, this is a great opportunity to build customer loyalty by offering them an incentive to buy from you. Oh, I actually have a good example of that, Darlene, of the limited capacity. I noticed here in San Diego, there's this really popular car wash, Soapy Joe's, and a way that they are limiting the capacity is that they're only allowing their members to come in through the hours of 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. at all of their locations. And remember, I know we've said this 100 times already, but communicate with your customers. And it doesn't have to be overkill, just an email or a tweet once or twice a week, letting them know that we got you covered. Your customers have a lot on their minds right now, so assure them that their loyalty rewards are safe, and it'll be here when they get back. Well, that's all for today. Check out some other videos and resources GoDaddy has put out there for small business owners and entrepreneurs. And if you need help, you can always call our customer service number and speak to one of our guides. Until next time, stay safe. And stay healthy.